What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. Mm -hmm. That's right. So every weekend, every Sunday, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship get taken to the next level, right? Or maybe, uh, you know, spark up some more of those flames that maybe have been diminished through the years. Or maybe you're not in a relationship and uh, you're going to be in a relationship in the future. Hopefully. So hopefully you can learn some tips and tricks to hopefully make that relationship a very successful one. Because if you're not in one right now, something probably went wrong in the other one mm -hmm. and that might have been because of you or because your partner and honestly it's good to look at both sides of the coin and make sure that at least you're going to do your part in the relationship and then you can kind of look for maybe red flags or you can look for things to do to possibly help your partner get on the same page and same track as you yep. so that will give you guys a very successful and uh you know hopefully a long lasting relationship or we always talk about things that you need to do together right or not things that you might need help doing together right so that's what we're going to go over in this episode too yeah so this episode is really about um planning working together working together right that's that's one of the main points i guess communication's always thrown in there whatever the always. topic is please communicate you know because relationships work relationships you know personal relationships family relationships it's great to communicate because Nobody can really mind read, okay? Now, somebody might know you very well to a certain degree, and they might yeah. be able to, you know, almost come up with what you're going to think or what you're going to say mm -hmm. and kind of go by that. But you know what? Sometimes people are off in that situation too as well. So let's talk about this. Um, you know, setting yourself up for success with planning. And this could be, you know, planning for an event. So maybe you, your wife are planning a trip or your, your significant other, whoever it is, are planning a trip to go somewhere, you know, uh, what are you guys gonna do um, for that trip? And how are you guys gonna plan it out? Are you guys gonna plan where you guys are gonna stay? What you guys are gonna do? Um, or when are you gonna go? Yeah, when you, you guys go? have to like, I, I really think that sometimes, and I've heard this a hundred million times, right? Whether people are planning trips to go on vacation, yep. planning trips to, uh, you know, other countries, let's say, let's say you're planning a trip to go to Disney World, right? Oh. I mean, I, this is a good example. Get the app. Uh, yeah. Well, the app still doesn't work, right? <laughs> we all know the app puts you like, you know, you get to pick two rides and, and you can go at 430. Uh, Yay, right? That works great. Um, sorry, Disney. But um, anyways, you know, it's just having to work together and have being on the same page, right? Because let's just say that we're you guys are planning this wonderful trip to Disney World. And okay, cool. You guys agree on the hotel. Now it's like, all right, well, let's just say one person is more involved in a, a business or let's say your job than the next. So one person's like, well, we're going to go at 8 a.m. And the next person's like, well, actually, I'm going to be tied up at 8 a.m. So we really can't go till 11 a.m. So this is where you have to compromise, right? You got to come to a happy medium that is happy for everyone. I mean, you can even give if you'd like, but that what that means is it's almost like, a, you know, give a little, take a little. So if, if somebody gives a little, that means the next time that they want something, you should probably give a little too, right? Because yeah. it works both ways. Right. Yeah, it could definitely work like that. Um, and it could be different things too as well. So you like planning birthday parties, right? You plan a birthday party for your significant other, um, you, that. you know, for yourself or whatever <laughs> it is. Um, you know, you want to make sure you're taking the steps and going over all the different things. So if you're obviously in a partnership or relationship with somebody, you know, you're going to ask them, hey, listen, who should we invite? Where should we do this at? You possibly think. You <gasps> that's been ideas. a big one. That has you been know? a that, that's been a big one, it's you know, because it's, you know, with the, even with like family, right? Yeah. You might have a family member that your significant other doesn't maybe get along with. Right. right? And we're going to plan, let's say, a birthday party for Peter. Yep. Let's just call it that at the house. And you don't check with your significant other that it's okay to invite Bob, Uncle Bob, right? right. Um, and you and Uncle Bob had a little bit of a fight at the last Thanksgiving. And, you know, 
you just don't ask because yeah. maybe you'd be surprised how easy it is to just overlook things, especially yeah. if, you know, they have, let's, I'm going to use an example. Let's just say they had a kid and the kid wants to come to the party. Now the parents want to come to the party, yep. but you didn't even think about, oh shoot, uh, Uncle Bob and John don't get along. Right. So, you know, you sometimes you need to take a minute and really mull over the entire situation yep. and don't just think about yourself. You know, try to think about your significant other. Absolutely. And I do feel like sometimes this can cause some friction. 100%. <laughs> between who's doing what and what's going where and how we're doing it, when we're doing it, all this fun stuff. Proper planning is key. Communication, yeah. like I said, is key and talking with each other. And like Sheree said, knowing what each other's going to do, right? And you guys have, have some, assi- uh, some responsibilities assigned to you. So you guys kind of know what it is. You know what the game plan is. Laying out the game plan is key. And that's in anything you're going to do as far as planning goes. Now, it just might not be an event. Let's talk about planning your future together, right? Where are things going to go? Are you guys on the same page? You know, have you guys talked about, you know, what your life goals are, what you guys want to get out of life or get out of the relationship per se, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas some person might think, hey, listen, I'm just in this you know, to have a good time. And the other person's thinking, we're going to get married here and have four kids together and two dogs and a white fence and the whole nine. <laughs> and then, you know, boom, you guys don't talk about it. And then one day it's like, hey, like. Where's my ring? What are you talking about? I'm just here for some fun. <laughs> Where's know? my ring? Uh, it's been a good ride. Why do we want to change this? You know, there's a whole bunch of things that come yeah. up like that. So, you know, plan your future, right? And then if you're together, like there's a whole bunch of other planning you guys can do, like financial planning. It's a big one. I don't think people really talk about their financial planning together like they should. It's always, hey, listen, we need to put away more money. Yeah, I agree with you. And then nothing happens. There's no plan of action put in place for this. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's a really, really big one because a lot of people fight and relationships end because of money. Money. My parents were like that. Financial problems usually really, really uh, put a heavy weight on the shoulders of relationships. Um, because it puts people in bad places, right? And uh, people don't know what to do sometimes, especially right now in the economic climate we're in. Mm-hmm. You know, some people are really well off, some people aren't. Um, and at that point, you know, people need to talk about these things. I think it's a it's an important thing to talk about. Um, I don't think you should be solely focused in on money or the financial part of it, but it definitely plays a role in relationships and it plays a role in life and what we're doing today, day in and day out. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a big one, you know. I mean, I think that's a really big, really big one. Yeah. Um, you know, planning your 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 son or your your kids. Uh, birthday party or graduation graduation party, party you know or you know even like the wedding planning stuff I know that stuff gets kind of sticky sometimes too that does get very sticky you know right? I mean even like planning a Thanksgiving dinner right yeah. you know um, <laughs> don't, let's just use I'm gonna use a random example here just in case we have wonderful people watching but let's just say you're like oh yeah aunt marie you can bring your mashed potatoes right and then so you know the mashed potatoes show up with aunt marie aunt marie is super cool mashed potatoes are not good right and john is like why did you tell her to bring mashed potatoes you know i don't like her mashed potatoes and i'm like oh you don't even think of that where's my backup Oh no! I mean, I guess I can order some rice from the Chinese place. John would be very happy with that, by the way. But yes. he was, you know, this is just an example of like knowing and trying to like fully think the whole entire thing through, and you're keeping your partner in mind, right? Because if you don't keep your partner in mind, something is bound to happen, yeah. and they're going to be like, "How did you not remember that?" Yeah. Or you know, and then they get kind of nasty about it. Yeah, uh, I, I can understand that, you know, I mean, especially <laughs> your partner's, you know, throwing for a curveball at the last second, like, what is this? <laughs> you know, what's going on here? I wasn't told about this, I wasn't informed about this, and now I have to be in this situation scenario. Me and John are in this scenario all the time. Absolutely. We, we work together and we have our business together. We plan events together, right? And people, different people talk to us, right? So me and John established in the beginning of the relationship that we aren't going to play the mom-dad thing, right? right? And that's going to go for everything. That would go with our family. That would go with our kid. That would go with all of our employees. That would go with all our athletes, everything. We always clear each other. Like, you know, it's it's, it's a cleared pathway. It's never, well, John said this, so I'm going to do it. I won't ever just say, okay. I'll say, hey, John, did you say bop, 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 bop? And then he'll say yes or no. Then I'll answer. That is really important because then they play you against each other yep. and they play that game well. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's it that game in itself and that can go just if you don't even have a business and you're just 
you know, with the kids or whatever it might be. Kids. That is, they played yeah. this game of mom, dad. Mom said yes. Dad said yes. To said no, whatever it might be. Mm. Peter might be asking for McDonald's. He knows, I know he doesn't want him to have McDonald's. Peter comes to me and says, I can have McDonald's. Okay, well, did dad say it was okay? Uh, yeah, he said it was okay. Right, sure he did. And so then I ask, right? Absolutely. So that's a big one, I think, is making sure that it's cleared. You know, yep. the, mo- the, the, the thing where you play them against each other, never a good thing. Never works, guys, and never works. Um, and planning will ultimately set you up for success. Um, when you're not planning for anything, whether it's an event, your relationship, financials, vacation, whatever it is, you're taking a chance of things going wrong. Um, and flying by the seat of your pants, you know, sometimes it'll work out. Been there, done that. And sometimes it won't, right? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you'll get lucky and maybe you won't. Yeah. Uh, we've been in those scenarios too. So, you know, it's different things you learn from, I guess. Um, and I always try to tell my son this. I'm like, be prepared, right, as, as much as possible because you never know when the rainy day is going to come. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what you need to do for yourself um, and your relationship, right? You want to make sure that you guys are planning for success, making sure you guys are following through on what your plan of action is, and ultimately getting the best optimal result you possibly can with each other. Um, so that's really it, I mean, as far as that goes. I think that... You know, you want to definitely plan, whether it's an event, whether it's your relationship, whatever it may be, and just following through whatever that plan is. Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I think that's it for Cupid's Corner this week. Yes. We'll be back every Sunday, 11 a.m., just for you guys. If you guys missed it live, don't worry. You guys can always DVR it. Also, check out all the episodes live on YouTube, right? Just type in Tight Medical Center. You're going to be able to go check out all the Cupid's Corners, all the Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle shows, plus a whole bunch of cool content on all our therapies, the behind the scenes of events, and much, much more. So check it out, guys. Also, go over to our Facebook and our Instagram. Give it a like, right? Give it a follow. And uh, you guys are going to love our TikTok. So if you guys want to see some entertaining stuff and you guys are into TikTok, go over there. We're on Twitter too. So you can type up any of these different social media platforms and follow us on there for a whole bunch of cool original content with me, Sharice, and all of the Titan crew. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye.